So now, um, can you tell people basically just where you're from and a little bit about yourself, uh, your job and things like that? Okay. So, um, so yes, I'm, I'm Nam and uh, I'm from Vietnam. I'm home from Ho, Ho Chi Minh City. And um, I, uh, right now I'm, I, I moved to Canada with my family. Uh, mm-hmm. About my background, I, I was a psychiatrist in Vietnam. Mm-hmm. So in Canada, I'm, I'm trying to, um, uh, to get my license in order to practice medicine here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I have to take uh, some protests, including uh, uh, a really a, a difficult one, an IL test. Okay. And uh, luckily, uh, I'm done with all of those. And uh, I really apply for the residency much, and hopefully I can get a spot. So what score did you get in IELTS test now? Yeah, so the requirement for the residency training is uh, uh, seven in each uh, skill. So which means like seven in writing, speaking, listening, and reading. Um, I've been uh, studying uh, IELTS for a, a long time. And before I take your course, I already... Um, uh, enrolled in other courses, and I, before before this, uh, I took about uh, three exams. And even before uh, the IELTS exam, I took uh, I try um, uh, TOEFL, mm-hmm. and those uh, was not uh, successful. Um, um, I was struggling with uh, the writing and the speaking. Mm-hmm. And so before you joined IELTS Writing Academy, how did you feel about the IELTS test and about just life in general as somebody who needed that score and wanted to improve their life? How did you feel before you joined? Uh, I'm sorry, like uh, about how I do I feel about uh, IELTS and how do I feel about life? Yeah, so was, you know, were you worried about not being able to move to Canada or was it frustrating or things like that? Or, or did you not worry at all or were you very relaxed about it? What, exactly. <laughs> what do you think of it? Yeah, so yes, I can tell um, um, IL or TOEFL and other, like, on, on all of the English exam are really tough and um, we have to work really hard in order to get a, a score that we want especially um, in order to uh, integrate into the, uh, the, the Canadian system, they require a really high score, not like for a professional like, like me, uh, they require even higher score than the people who get into college or high school. So mm-hmm. like I told you, uh, seven in each, each skills. Mm-hmm. Um, I uh, tried several times, it was not successful struggling with the writing. Uh, um, the writing um, part in IELTS is uh, uh, challenging uh, because of the, uh, the question. I, will, I have to get myself familiar, familiar with the, uh, the question format and, and also the, the, the time limit. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't have, the, my, my problem is that I don't have enough uh, time. I'm not a quick thinker. So mm-hmm. I cannot come up with a, a quick idea, an example, an explanation like that. Mm-hmm. And how did my course and IELTS Writing Academy help you get the score that you needed? So what, was, what was it about that course that was different from other courses or made a, a big difference to you? Yeah, so let me talk a little bit about the other courses. Uh, um, so I, I was taught that um, I, I have to have... Uh, um, for the the, uh, the paragraph uh, body paragraphs, I have to have two idea uh, two ideas, uh, and each, each two idea I have each one I have to have uh, two small uh, sub ideas. So that that, that that's where I, I struggling with because uh, as I told you, I, I cannot come up with uh, enough idea and example within uh, forty minutes. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's why I took I tried your course and um, and the way you approach the question is I can say it's not traditional it's top like it's <laughs> different from like other teachers and yeah. in the beginning I was in doubt actually 
yeah. yeah. Is it really work or because mm -hmm. you, it, in your course you will you you look really confident about your methods. <laughs> <laughs> you look really confident, and I was like, was doubtful actually. But uh, when I try, I try your uh, I try your technique. Actually, I I I was able to finish the uh, mm -hmm. the question in, in time, and mm -hmm. I have time to review my writing and I feel I feel satisfied about that, and I uh, I, I apply that technique into the, the real exam, and I for the first time I got my seven, mm -hmm. but. Uh, luckily, the other the other score, like speaking, I got just six point five, and but that time I really like that your 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 approach worked really well, and I tried yeah, the first time, I tried the second time, I got uh, eight point five. <laughs> yeah, eight point five is a, is an amazing score. Yeah, <laughs> eight point five is a very few people. I think, I think it's something like in Vietnam, two percent or one percent of people who do the the IELTS test get 8.5 or 9. So it's amazing that you got that. And it's really nice for you to say that you didn't believe me at the start and then you, you had your doubts because many people are like that with me. Uh, because my approach is keep everything very simple and straightforward and, you know, don't try to be too fancy or too complex. And it's kind of the opposite advice to what most people think. So Yeah, completely opposite. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I know. It, it's it's very difficult to tell people if you keep things more simple and more straightforward, you'll get a higher score because people are so used to the advice of use really complex structures and really complex words and phrases and everything. Um, whereas I'm saying the opposite. So thank you for. <laughs> for <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, uh, I can tell you it's amazing to me, and then. Like when when I got my my score, I couldn't believe in my eye. I couldn't believe it uh, that I got eight point five, and I had to look at the score a second time and the third time. <laughs> and I text my wife and send a picture to my wife and ask her, "Is this real? Is it real? I get eight point five. So which means like, uh, you know, if because I I'm really bad at writing, <laughs> but no, you're not. You're not bad at all at writing. If you got eight point five. I used right. to be. I used to be, but the thing is, we uh, uh, now I realize like, uh, the um, the IL writing is not hard. The thing is, you have to know the technique. You have to yeah. um, have the the right approach and practices and uh, practice over and over again. Then you can make it like. You probably, if you're in my group, you're probably tired of hearing me say. Just, it's not a difficult test. It's an easy test. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Um, yeah, it makes a big difference. So what, what difference has the, getting an 8.5 made to your life? What are, you, what are you going to do in the future? What will it enable you to do? Yeah, so um, as I told you, um, uh, if I, I could not get the, uh, the 8.5 uh, or the IL score that I, I, I wanted, I couldn't apply for a residency training in Canada. So it's a big obstacle for me. Yeah. Yes. Right now, it's, it's, I get over it and I move on with my life. Yeah. So Amazing. Put all so, the, 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 the IO stuff behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. That, that's when someone joins my course, my goal is that they will never see me again like that when when they get the score that they need they will never have to see me or think about me ever again that's my no, goal no, no, uh, but yes <laughs> no, but i think if if somebody want to if somebody asks me uh to, to recommend a, a course i will definitely definitely uh, um, um introduce you thanks now <laughs> so so I don't want to take up too much of your time, but just if we wanted to help people who were, say somebody who is stuck on 6.5 and they keep getting 6.5, and what would be the one piece of advice that you would give them um, if they wanted to get you know, 8.5 or something, or even just get to 7 or 7.5, what would it be? Okay, so, um, so each people have different strengths and weaknesses, right? Uh, my weaknesses is I told you, I. I'm uh, struggling with the uh, the time and the idea. 
So the way that I resolve that is uh, I spend about eight minutes to 10 minutes for uh, ID, idea development, uh, the first part, the first ever part in, in, your, uh, in your course. Uh, which I, I do the question analyzing, uh, idea generation, and come with the uh, uh, explanation and example. And then at the end, I'll do the um, um, what is it? vocabulary and uh, paraphrasing. That, mm -hmm. that takes me about eight minutes. And mm -hmm. after I've done so, it's like a Google map. <laughs> like you, you, you use the Google map, right? You know where to go. You don't have exactly. to stop in the middle and rethink about uh, it again, just go and go and reach your point. That's it. Exactly, yeah. And I'm, I'm teaching, I'm doing a challenge right now and I'm teaching lots of students. And I suggested that they spend between five and 10 minutes planning. And all, a lot of them were like, we don't have time to plan, but it's really difficult to tell somebody if you spend extra time planning, then you will have more time to write but yeah it's a um, a lot of the things in my course it's difficult to convince people of how to do them because they're so different from other things so uh so now thank you very very much for um doing this interview with me i think it's going to be really beneficial to other students and helping them you know solve this Silly, you know, get over this silly test. It is a really silly test, and it's it's something that, but it's something that we have to do. So, um, and it's really refreshing to hear somebody who got eight point five and you know has got the scores that they need and has living a better life because of it makes my job um, worthwhile. So, Nam, um, is there anything you want to say before we wrap it up or before we go today? Yeah. So. Um Thank you for, uh, for offering me this really valuable course. Without your course, I don't know <laughs> how could uh, I be able to, um, to get a score that I want. And uh, I just have an uh, advice for uh, our future uh, students that uh, just uh, believe in yourself and believe in, uh, trust Chris. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much, Nam.